Okay, so let's take a look at an example here. Uh, solve differential equation using an appropriate substitution. So our differential equation here is x times dy dx minus 1 plus xy equal to xy squared. Let's first uh, divide everything by x because I want to get the coefficient in front of the dy dx to be 1. So let's divide everything by x. So doing that we get So we get this then, dividing by x. Then uh, we can notice that this is actually a Bernoulli uh, equation here. Okay, with the n being 2, so the 2 is my n value. And this guy here is my p function. And I guess the 1 in front here would be like the f function. So let me write that here. Okay, so this is a Bernoulli differential equation with the n being 2. Your f function would be just uh, equal to 1, and your p function would be minus 1 plus x over x. Okay, so now let's apply uh, theorem 4. So by theorem 4 we're going to let so we're going to let uh, w, I guess in the theorem I call it u, but I'm going to call it w here. I'll, I'll explain why in a second. It doesn't, doesn't matter what you call it. So w is going to equal then y to the 1 minus n, or n value is 2, so it'll be uh, y to the minus 1. Okay, now let's solve for y. So Doing that, we'll get then the solving. You can raise both sides to the minus one power if you wanted to. Uh, you get then y equals w to the minus one. Now uh, we're going to make a substitution for the y uh, for the y here and here, but we're going to have to make a substitution for the dy dx. So let's take derivative on both sides with respect to x. Okay, so taking derivative with respect to x on both sides here, so you'll have then on this side dy dx. Here, take the minus 1 in front, subtract 1 times uh, dw dx by chain rule. So this simplifies to become then, becomes this, so dy dx equals negative w to the minus 2 dw dx. Now we're going to substitute, so we're going to put the, in place of dy dx, now we're going to put this guy in place of y up here we're going to put the w to the minus 1 so doing that we get then so making a substitution we get distance so again we're putting uh, this guy in place of dy dx which I've done here and in place of y putting w to the minus 1 so I've done that here and here and you're squaring it over here now let's multiply both sides by negative uh, w squared so doing that we get So multiplying everything by minus w squared, so you'd add the exponents here, the minus signs would cancel here, adding exponents would be minus 2 plus 2. Here the minus sign would make a plus there, uh, adding 2 to that then. And this is a w to the minus 2, then you're multiplying by this, it would be minus w to the minus 2 plus 2. So simplifying this then, we get... So we get this guy over here which is a linear differential equation. So we're now we're going to apply theorem 1 to figure this guy out. Okay, so I'm out of space, so uh, let me erase a few things and we'll keep going. Okay, so summarizing, we have, we have this. We have uh, other substitution, y equals w to the minus 1, and this is our new differential equation after making the substitution. And this guy is a linear differential equations. We're going to use theorem 1 to figure this out. Uh, first I'm going to rewrite this. Uh, I'm going to break this up, this fraction here. So let me write that. Okay, so I just rewrote it. I broke the 1 plus x over x up as uh, x over x, which is 1 plus 1 over x here. That's my p. This is my f. I'm going to apply theorem 1 now. So applying theorem 1, our u of x is going to equal then will equal uh, e to the integral of px dx, or p in this case is the 1 plus 1 over x, so the e integral of 1 plus 1 over x dx. Integral of 1 is x, integral of 1 over x is ln, ln x, so let me write that here. Okay, so again the integral of 1 is x, integral of 1 over uh, x is ln, so I'm breaking up like this. Then I've broken up as e to the ln of x times e to the x. This is just x, because the ln and e cancel. So it just becomes x, e to the x is my u of x. Okay, next. 
So now we're going to use that u times w. Well, in theorem 1, it's y, but in our case, our, our y uh, we've exchanged with w. So it'll be u times w prime. This means derivative with respect to x equals u times f. So let's make those substitutions here. So make the substitutions, we get this. Now we're going to integrate, bo integrate both sides. So integrating both sides, we get then. So integrating both sides, we get this. So on the left side, we're integrating a derivative, so it just undoes it. Here we have to, looks like we're going to have to use integration of parts in this guy. So we get then. Okay, so we have to figure out this side of the integral, which is going to require uh, integration of parts here. So here's my integration of parts formula. Integral of u dv equals uv minus integral v du. And our substitution here is going to be uh, letting the negative x equal u. It's going to go there. And so my e to the x would be my dv. e to the x dx. Okay, so making those substitutions, we get then... Okay, so u equals negative x means taking derivative with respect to x, du dx will be negative 1, so du will be negative dx. Let's see, uh, now dv equals e to, the, uh, e to the x dx, let's integrate both sides, we'll get then v. So v will be integral of dv, but dv is equal to e to the x dx, and the integral of e to the x is itself. Okay, so now we can make the substitutions. So making the substitution, so letting my u be negative x here, my v be uh, e to the x, so making those substitutions we get. So making the substitutions, our u is negative x, our v is e to the x, then minus v e to the x du, which is minus dx here. Uh, so then simplifying this a bit further, so integrating this guy, uh, it's going to be e to the x there. So we get then... So we get this then, so minus x e to the x plus e to the x plus c. This is going to go in place of this guy here. Okay, so I'm out of space, so I'm going to erase a few things and we'll keep going. So after making a substitution, this is what we have. Also, uh, we're going to have to make this substitution in a second, but we know that y equals w to the minus 1. So we have then uh, this guy. Let's solve for w first, and then uh, my ultimate goal is to solve for y. But let's first solve for w. Let's divide both sides by x, e to the x everywhere. So doing that, we get... So we get this, and then uh, simplifying, so these cross off some... Use cross off there, use cross off there, and cross off there. So simplifying, we get then w equals equals c e to minus x over x plus 1 over x minus 1. Now we're going to use the substitution that y equals w to minus 1 now. Let's do that. So making that substitution, and uh, so basically it's raising both sides to the minus 1 here because. Uh, y equals w to the minus 1, so we'll have y equals uh, this uh, c e to the minus x over x plus 1 over x minus 1 raised to the minus 1 power. So this should be your answer here. I guess you could try, you could rewrite that if you wanted to nicer. Uh, I think it's fine, let's leave it like that. So here's our answer here. So that should be the solution to the original differential equation. Okay, so we're done.